thing up. Aged. I almost screwed that up. Ta-da! Thanks. Oh, before you leave. What, are you guys throwing a New Year's party too? Yep. Sure, I'll be there then. Oh, well, that was fast. Well, I've got things to do, so... <laughs> what do you possibly have to do? You do? Who does what? Sorry, I sneezed. Weird sneezes. Anyway, I'm out for now. Oh yeah. Take care. Why do you know her name is Becky? Man, she was in a rush. Okay, screw that noise. Fireworks are sold out everywhere. I'll need to get them through more shady means. I'm just gonna buy them from the internet. She'll find them and it'll put us all at risk of burning. Of burning. I'll make sure there's an extra extinguisher at hand. Please. Well, I guess that's it for today. You sure you're fine? I am, don't worry. Hey Jill, mind if I ask a silly question? You've seen my clients, you can assume I don't mind silly question. Silly answers get on my nerves though. <laughs> Sorry, what did you want to ask? Do you know why they call them cat boomers? You mean like Stella? I mean, I guess they're the second set of ears look like a cat's, but... The word boomer seems so out of place. Not so much when you consider it's not them, but their parents who were called such. No. Let's go a bit back first. You know why the cat boomers look like that, right? Because they went through some anti-nanomachine rejection treatment while they were still a fetus, right? It's called the... The... Yamazaki... Okay. So one of those sounds like... Russian, and the other ones like the or the first name sounds very I don't know Japanese like, but the last name sounds very Russian. What was it the Romaneko Yamada treatment? That the Roma. <laughs> Let's just call it the catification procedure. It's not only the first successful genetic treatment on a fetus, but it's also the first way to fight nano machine rejection. Moreover, that research resulted, or er, that research had a bit of a rocky story. Funding got cut in the middle of it at a crucial point that could make or break the whole thing. Not to mention Zaibatsu Corp's record of not addressing nano machine rejection at all. Yeah, wonderful. The rest of the research was funded by Mackie Stengovich. Or was it, was it Stengovich? Let's call it Stengovich for now. He's a businessman whose unborn daughter got diagnosed with early nanomachine rejection. Oh no. Stengovich funded the research and in a desperate move, his wife offered herself and their daughter as test subjects. Of course, the experiment was a success. That girl, Sylvia Stengovich, didn't die. She became a living testament of a scientific breakthrough. But then the story of how things played out for Sylvia got sensationalized and created a new weird fad parents made their unborn children go through the catification procedure even if they- that's just weird. Why would it- why would it, you- would, I'm sure that they're- maybe not Stella specifically, but I'm sure there are people who got harassed for that. Why would you do that to your kid? If you didn't need to. All because one particular girl whose life got staved through that treatment became a media darling for a bit. A whole generation with of kids with those cat-like protrusions got born, and their parents got called cat boomers. A generation of parents obsessed with cat-like features. The fad quickly passed, but the term remained in use. Eventually cat boomer just started being used for the people with the protrusions instead of their parents. You keep calling them protrusions, why is that? Well, because they're probably not actually functional ears. Because that's what they are? Eh? You can think those things on their head were ears, right? Sure, they can be moved because them they're somehow connected to the facial and ear muscles. Unless they can move like a cat's and react to their mood. But in the end, they're just appendages with no real function. Huh. 
It still surprises me a bit though. The biggest mutation they get after a treatment is just that. Those ears are a small miracle on their own. People have been born with no eyes for less intrusive procedures. You really thought they were functional ears, huh? Let's say I learned quite a bit today, thank you. Don't worry, I feel like I should apologize for ta talking so much instead. And keep in mind, I'm messing up the terms. I don't want you saying someone got protrusions because of the catification procedure. I'll keep it in mind. Wait. What? Yeah, the guy's name was Stengovich. Eh? I just remembered St Sylvia Stengovich was around my age, and when I was a teen, there were some TV specials featuring her. And I remembered that I had a big, the biggest crush on her. Now that I think about it, that crush had me very confused back then. And did, you, did you need to shout just now? I'm sorry. In any case, I'm out for the day. Alright, careful out there. Flawless service bonus, 8,000. How much? Was it 9,000 that we need to come up with? Today's payment. All booze and no firecrackers makes Dana a dull girl. How much is rent? Was it 9,000 doll hairs? I don't remember. Hold on. We're not going to buy anything. We're, we just need them to tell me what's going on. 10,000. No! You've been talking a lot with that Alma girl. Jealous? The bar called Valhalla? I'm pretty sure we looked at this already. Surviving in Glitch City. Any tips for a new friend in this wonderful land? Oh boy, self-deprecating friend? No thread? As I'm mistaken, my grandpa lived here before they turned it into Glitch City. Don't trust in the White Knights, and don't go after 5 p.m. unless you want to get mugged or murdered. Bring a portable chair everywhere, you'll have to line up to get flour. Get used to eat what you find. Shortages are getting out of hand. I've been eating rice with butter for months now, but I guess it could be worse. Please don't jinx it, I have enough as it is. So coming here was a mistake? Why would anyone come here? Visiting family, but I want to take them out do it while you can. Yeah, airlines are leaving the city soon, so we won't even be able to escape. Cry face. <laughs> so, I, I guess that this could have been a sarcastic first post here, but it's kind of depressing if it wasn't. <laughs> because it was someone who legitimately wanted something to know what people thought was cool to do here, and then they just kind of got harshly informed the city sucks wearing socks with sandals is now a public crime first silly law I'm all in for okay so I'm just gonna skim this one Oh, if this is late to the party, augmented eye. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, time to get to work. Thursday, December 29th. Good evening. Hey. Okay, so we've almost got everything, but we're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. And so I designate you, Gillian Applegate, as the official guy who goes to buy Applegate. <laughs> I don't think That's his real last name. The goat guy who goes to buy the rest of the stuff. Applegate? I have no idea who that is. Why me? I could send Jill, but I wouldn't dare send a lady by herself. And I could go with her, but the bar should have at least two people in the vicinity at all time. You're not gonna say anything, Jill? Oh no. I'll be back in a moment. The dogs are barking pretty loud. Alright, well, 
I think the source of the barking was because neighbors were setting off fireworks in the distance. Thankfully, it wasn't anything super heavy duty, or, you know, they would have been freaking out a lot harder. If it means not being a delivery girl, I'm happy to fake helplessness. Fine, give me that list. I'll be back. Sometime. Something tells me you're planning something, boss. What gives you that impression? Call it a gut feeling. Did you know Gil has a crush? He... what? A client of his, a girl that owns a bazaar. She's been coming on to him for ages and he's only just started opening up. <laughs> but he's taking steps backwards, and I'm not gonna let him. He's opening up, and he's gonna like it. And so the errands will take him to the bazaar, I take it? That's right. Huh. Alright, to the office I go. As for me, Jill, or Dana, is great. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Gil with a crush, huh? This place, great. Oh, if it isn't... Oh, hey, it's Kira Miki! Hey, Jill, sorry, but is there anywhere I can hide? There's an unpleasant guy on my trail. Boss! Stocked woman! Incoming! The door's open. Go ahead to the door on the left. Thanks. Hello there. Oh, hi there. The other one, that's the bathroom. Wait, what's the dog doing in the bathroom? Now, where did she... Oh, hey, it's Mr. Donovan. Oh, this place. Perfect. Hey, kid, I'll have the usual. Right. Huh? You remembered me after two weeks. Oh no, I dozed off. It's okay. I remember what the usual is. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we have it. Here. This seems right. The paper's been a mess lately. Oh, I said that super quiet for some reason. You'd think with all that's happening that they'd stay and do more reports. But they're all asking for vacations and I can't afford to be understaffed. So I had to come up with some sort of reward for, for whoever produces the most reports. I see no difference in my feed, though. <laughs> Mr. Donovan, I don't mean to sound rude, but you do know the infamy of the augmented eye within the general public, right? A bad page that will over-sensationalize anything to report on and report on useless things? Of course I know. Sorry, I am answering a message right now. To put it simply, I'm being clutched in a... In... Oh no. Saibatsu Corp and company have their eye on every publication they haven't bought yet. Report on them once and they'll find something to find you with. Twice and you'll find your resources severely cut. Anything beyond that in the best case scenario is that they buy the operation to keep it quiet. Alright, I should be good now. I know there are more newsworthy things than whatever is the it is the lackeys picked out that week. But if I overstep, it's m my job that's on the line. Huh. <laughs> Glad to see this is still in one piece. This place is still in one piece. The BTC has been going crazy about closing bars lately. Oh yeah, that. We are on the list. Yesterday they closed one service as a key part of a drug trafficking ring. And last week they closed three small bars that served as illegal chicken restaurants? Huh. That's interesting. Not to mention there are like a hundred people who have BTC certifications or certificates but never use them. Instead they keep those credentials around to stop police from raiding their homes or warehouses. 
I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that some restrictions will begin at the BTC after this whole thing. Man, it ran deeper than I thought. And no news outlet talks about that. Alright kid, let's try a moon blast now. What's this lunacy? Even I have to break the routine from time to time. Moon blast. Let's see what the ruckus is about. Um, so, what brought you here? Alright, didn't you see a Lilim coming in here? Blue hair? Well, of course you go there, too. She's the one from the Encore concert coming up. Ah, uh, really? Did she jump onto the roof then? Why were you looking for her? Did you want an interview? Not really, just hitting on her. Ugh. Hey, I said hitting on her, not hitting her. Stop glaring. Okay. Why, though? Are you that bored? Don't you have, like, a family or something? Have you seen that girl? Ugh. There you go again. I'm suffering. Alright, dude. And so you followed her. I've yet to meet a woman that can resist the charms of Donovan D. Dawson. Well, one's running from you and one's serving your drinks. You're in front of one, and I'm guessing you have quite the selective memory. Yeah. Like I said, don't you have a family or something? A wife, but that woman beats or cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. In fact, I'm pretty sh convinced she gets off on the thought of me cheating on her. So that Lilim isn't here, huh? I'll have to find a busty enough replacement tonight or I'll explode. Hey, after you're done glaring, please serve me a pile driver. Right. The order was a rabbit. <laughs> Jill, you're out of your mind. Three Bronson. Seeing as she's not here, I have no reason to stay. Maybe I'll find someone that looks a bit like her. The guy left. Oh, alright. Thanks for sheltering me. Dana, I hope your sister likes the video. No, thank you. Seems you had a hearty talk. Your boss is such a fun person. Her sister is a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video for her and took a couple of photos. How nice of you. It's nothing, really. She did hide me, so it's the least I can do. But, well, we're here already. Mind giving me something sweet? Sure. Something sweet. So we want flavor. Alright, so... I hate to be a jerk, but I'm gonna give her the most expensive thing I can get. 150. Blue Fairy. 170. I'm getting higher. Moon Blast. 180. I'm getting better. Brantini, 250. Piano Woman. There we go. Yeah, we can't double up a Piano Woman, so we're not gonna bother. So do you know why Donovan was following you? I 
don't, but was he in the, but I wasn't in the mood to deal with him. His questions were a bit over the line last time, too. Not the worst I've dealt with, but I just didn't want to humor him. You see. It seems like he was just trying to come on to you. You don't say. Well, it's not like I, uh, he'd have a chance anyway. I'm not into older guys, and I'm already in a committed relationship. Oh, what figured? Wait, what? You are? It's not common knowledge, and the ones that hear it try to dismiss it as, rumor, as a rumor, but... I've been in a relationship with my producer for a while now. Oh, well, that is the kind of thing that people would... Uh... Dismiss as a rumor. That was my Skype beep, by the way, not yours. If that came through. We were both single, and that stuff is bound to happen when we spend so much time together. But it all started when he read an entry on my in my blog I made about wanting to experience love and the like. He offered to help with that. <laughs> oh, what a guy. After he read it, and I thought, sure, why not? Wow. Okay. I already knew him well enough, so it wouldn't hurt to try. How nice. He's a stick in the mud where playing this dude, but he's a sweetheart otherwise. You know, I've met two fans of yours lately. Really? Both of them seemed so excited when they were talking about- wasn't Stella one of them? I don't remember specifically. It was amazing. <laughs> I don't like the term fan too much, it strikes me as a bit pretentious in my opinion. I have many fans doesn't sit too well. Many people who like my mu I like many people who like my music better. Fan evokes an uglier and more pretentious image for me. I think I see what she means. Do you like what I do, Jill? Do you like my music? To be honest, I haven't had much exposure to your work, but a few things I have heard are really good. And not gonna lie, having talked to you, I feel like I would support you even if I didn't like it. So nice to hear. Hey, well, this will sound familiar, but do you have anything like tea? Let me see. Alright, anything like tea. Let's see. Um... I don't really know. I don't know what the best thing could be, but... Uh. Yeah. This is just a shot in the dark, really. I don't think I got this right last time. Ta-da! Here. Yeah, this is- oh! Yahtzee! I got it! <laughs> hey, you're a King Class Chia, right? That I am. May I ask you something about your model? Sure. Are there any difference between you and a DFC-72? Hmm. We both serve the same purpose, but... DFC-72s have the port on their heads, which makes them more versatile. My line lacks that, or the resilience of DT-01Ds, but we're a tad more polished elsewhere. More specifically, our voice emulators are more advanced and our movements are smoother. A trade-off of functionality and power for appearance, you could say. I see. So anything new for this concert? Hmm, well it's an encore, so we're trying to make it the same for those that couldn't go to the first one. But we always try to spice it up, like maybe a surprise song or something. There was this one time I sang a cover of a song by B-Link. Of course in return they sang Your Love is a Drug. Ah. So you know the B-Link girls? Really nice kids, you'd be surprised how different they are from their onstage personas. Really? 
Suzu, for example, can be really childish at times, and she also laughs a lot and loudly at that. Meanwhile, I don't know how to say that, is a pr party girl through and through. If they're not on tour, she spends much of her time partying like crazy. Huh, hard to believe. I mean, their image is that of stoic girls with little expression. Almost like living Victorian doll or so dolls or something. Well, they wanted to pop out to the public. They once told me if we want people to notice us, we have to break the cutesy idol concept. And so they took the opposite route by becoming cool beauties with melancholic songs. I wouldn't say that went the opposite way. The opposite of cutesy idols would be unkempt, tone-deaf girls spewing vitriol and hate. <laughs> well, in a literal sense, yeah. True, I guess. Well, I've gotta go, but let's have a sparkle star first. Alright. The strap of my bra is itching. Alright. Sparkle star. That's fitting. To Adele Hyde, optional caramel train. Go with four and two. All of the optional caramel train. I don't know if the optional caramel train gets them to pay you more too. They used to actually sparkle, but too many complaints about a skin problem made the re them redesign the drink without the sparkling. <laughs> That's hilarious. All aged and mixed. Sparkle star here sparkling. Well, it's always a pleasure, Jill. Please come again. Will do. Oh, the handsome bartender. Nice to see you. Uh, um, boss, Gil's back. I'll take my break. Alright. Alrighty. Well, that was fun. Um, I'm just gonna save over the day 17 break. I am going to stop there for now. We will continue on next time. I don't really know how... F yeah. I recorded a little bit more than this last time, but, you know. Ah. Anyway. We will continue onwards. Hopefully we make the rent. Will we? Who knows? Anyway, thank you all for watching, and as always, follow me to Apex.